Hey dudes, this is Angel Bird's affordable one terabyte CF Express Type A card. And even though it's tiny and mighty, some questions linger. Being are CF Express Type A cards a smart investment, or should you stick with SD cards as a Sony user? Are these Angel Bird card readers and media tanks even worth your money? And if you do buy into this ecosystem, what sort of after sales service can you expect from a company based in Austria? Well, let's get into it. Inflation is real, so if you act on bad advice, it can cost you a small fortune. Luckily, early on in my career, Don McAlpine gave me some much needed advice. He said, Don't get caught up in owning camera gear. It's an expensive trap. Only buy what you need, rent the rest and save your money for rainy days. But that was then and this is now. And the technology we use has most certainly changed. For a long time now, producers haven't had to buy film stock, pushing the cost of these little guys off onto rental houses and owner ops, meaning the cost, size and performance of media cards is super important to us. And up until now, Sony has held a quasi-monopoly on this type of card. Even now, Sony's pricing chokehold ransoms off their 640 gig CF Express Type A tough cards for a whopping 999 US dollars pre-tax. And the competition, well, they're no better either. Wise, Delkin, Prograde and Exosense Type A cards all being smaller in capacity and for the most part are slower in peak and sustained read and write speeds. In comparison to this guy, Angelbird's $499 one terabyte 50 cent per gigabyte CF Express Type A card. So this Angelbird card is the best performance to size ratio of any card for Sony users on the market. To set a baseline for these tests, here's a breakdown of my system. Connected to my M1 Mac Mini are my system rates, which run at these speeds. And with the promise of 820 read and 730 meg per second write, I'm hoping to see some impressive numbers across these tests. Now these speeds will fluctuate, but the minimum sustained write speed we should see is around 650 meg, even if the card's full. But first, let's check to make sure it isn't faulty or has any bad sectors. As you can see, the card has passed verification. We can now trust the card's smart status. Now we can use Blackmagic Design's disk speed test to verify exactly how fast this card is. The empty card scored 750 read and 850-ish megabytes per second when writing. But as these are not real world results, I shot a test pattern. The test pattern has zero duplicate frames, flashing colors and sub patterns, and it forces the codec into the highest data rate possible. When recording in 4K, 10-bit, XAVC intra, 100p at 600 megabytes per second, the card did not overheat, it did not drop frames, and it recorded for the entire one terabyte, sustaining the 600 megabyte data rate. So this card outperforms what the FX6 can output. Using an Angelbird CF Express Type A card reader, I was able to offload a verified copy in 27 minutes and 20 seconds. That equates to 700 meg of sustained read and write speeds across the entire one terabyte. In both the read and write tests, Angelbird Stable Stream is a big part of how this card delivers this to you. Stable Streams built into the card's hardware and software. It then manages the data to ensure the card's buffers cleared as quickly as possible. For us video shooters, this means zero bottlenecks. Photographers, your card's buffer will clear faster. And for DITs, you'll get the fastest possible offloading speeds. And is part of why Angelbird cards are considered the industry benchmark and are the partnered brand with Ari and Red. Angelbird is one of the few companies manufacturing its own products in this space. They don't rebadge, they design and build. Each card's manufactured, tested, formatted and packaged in Austria by hand. Every stage is tracked by QR code, creating a traceable history from when and who assembled the card to when and where it's sold. Then who buys it, registers it and what firmware the card has installed. To help with durability and heat dissipation, the AV Pro CF Express Type A card is made from aluminium, which is something that is super important considering the size of these cards. On closer inspection, these are closer in size to two micro SD cards. They are quite small, making them easy to lose or for someone to steal. So I wish companies selling the product of this size would go a little further to help us protect our investment, like a laser engraving option in this area here. 
The only downside of buying Angel Birds cards is you need one of their card readers to firmware update them. At 107 euros, I can understand why some customers are opposed to that. But for me, I love the super premium made in Austria build quality. And as an Apple user, I'm used to ecosystems and the protection that brings. Features like Solid Connect, the 20 gigabits of bandwidth, USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 2x2 connections, having a physical write protect switch here, and being compatible with everything means something to me. By far, the product I love the most is Angel Birds Media Tanks. Warning, they aren't cheap, but they are worth every penny you'll pay for them, and here's why. Saying this is over-engineered would be an understatement. The design, engineering, and build quality is just next level. It's precision milled from a solid block of aluminium. Listen to this, quality, right? Now it's locked and inside a laser cut foam inserts, no cards falling out here. It has a three year warranty. I just, I don't know why. I think this thing is indestructible, but I think we should put that to the test. Some say, but it only holds four cards. I say, yes, but for me, that's enough money in one container. Think about this. Inside here is more than two and a half thousand euros of media cards. And if I had four by four terabyte cards, that's roughly 8,600 euros in this tiny case. That's a lot of money. So knowing that the media tank is splash resistant, shock proof and dust proof gives me peace of mind. Look at all my cards, they're safe. They come in four flavors, CF Express Type A, CF Express Type B, CFast and SD and can all be custom engraved. The bright colors also make it easy to find and see and the pre-mailed holes makes it easy to attach air tags and padlocks. So if it gets lost or stolen, I should be able to find it. Got to be around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. That just saved me a couple of grand. So now you know why I love these things. One of the reasons why I'm attracted to Angel Bird is first, they're a European brand. They're a small business, a bit of a market disruptor, and they talk a big game when it comes to customer service. So when some of the plastic of my Type B card started to crack away, I decided to contact their customer support team. Let's see how long it takes Angel Bird to respond to that anonymous email. Oh, it seems like I've already got an answer. Okay, it's only an auto-generated email, but it is giving me acknowledgement of the issue and I do have a case number. So let's see how long it actually takes them to get back to me with a proper email. And in the interim, let's try their phone number. Hello, this is speaking from Angel Bird Technologies. How can I help you? Uh, hi, I've just been having some trouble with some of my Angel Bird cards and I was just wondering if I could speak to somebody about that. Uh, yeah, uh, do you have a serial number or did you send already to us an email? Okay, now obviously I can't share the rest of that conversation with you because of privacy concerns, but Angel Bird has taken the details again. So there's two reports of the issue now and they've promised to get back to me within a couple of days. So again, we just have to wait for that official email and see what they say. Oh, well, that was quick. Angel Bird's already sent us an email requesting more information. Well, that's a good sign. Send them the information then. Yeah, I'll get right on it. So within two weeks, Angel Bird replaced and upgraded my Mark 1 cards to Mark 2 cards and doubled their size from 512 gig to one terabyte. And they did this even though the cards weren't warranty registered, almost three years old, and without knowing that it was for this YouTube channel. So I'm a happy camper. The slowest part of the process was the return shipping to Austria, but that's something that I chose. So if Angel Bird was as bad as the online reviews state, they would never have replaced my cards. It is as simple as that. When it comes to the reliability of camera media, in most cases you get what you pay for. 
but the exception recently has been these Type A cards for Sony cameras. Until Angel Bird released these, Sony's kept the prices high, making them hard to justify purchasing as an owner operator. Which leads me to the question posed at the beginning of the video. Are CF Express Type A cards worth buying or are they a bad investment? At the moment, I would say, it's hard to answer, but here's why. The most obvious reason is Sony cameras are the only ones that use these cards. And for someone who films with a lot of different cameras, that's a big negative. Opposed to the industry's preferred alternative, CF Express Type B cards, they're larger, faster, cheaper, and will work with a lot more cameras, including the Sony Burano. Even SD and CFast cards are a lot more usable and they will work with multiple brands of cameras as does the Ninja 5 or Ultra, which start at $350 and uses super cheap SSDs. But here's where it gets confusing when planning for a future with Sony. The new Sony A9 III with its global shutter, which on paper looks like a stellar hybrid camera, still uses these CF Express Type A cards. And with every other camera manufacturer at the time of writing this predominantly using CF Express Type B and SD cards, you could be painting yourself into an investment corner if you decide to brand switch later or upgrade to the Burano. So the only way I can recommend you buy CF Express Type A cards is if you're entrenched in the mid-tier or lower Sony ecosystem. If that's you, these Angelbird cards are the best ones you can get on the market, hands down. But here's a word of caution. Media cards don't have great resale value. Warranties are not transferable. Terabytes written in insertion failures are real and used cards don't come with usage history. So used cards can be a risky proposition, which is why if you have to buy media, you should buy from a reputable vendor or online direct. Really, your decision boils down to this. If you wanna pay more for a smaller capacity, slower card, buy another brand. If you want the best deal for your money, you can't be Angelbird's price, speed, and capacity ratio. If you do buy into the Angelbird ecosystem, then I would highly recommend their card readers for their impressive hardware and software support and their media tanks because there's no better way to protect your investment. Separate, more in-depth reviews on both of these products will be posted in the new feature, so don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on that content. My final thought is this. Make no mistake, even though these are the most reasonably priced Type A cards, readers and card holders for the quality on the market, they are still a serious investment for most people. So you should immediately warranty register your products because that unlocks your three years of Angelbird data recovery and other product warranties. If you do have any questions, look, hit me up in the comments below. And if not, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Swipe up, tag your friends, like and subscribe, comment below. If I make this follow, don't let this flop, wait till the